everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is a homeschool show and tell. The homeschool show and tell is an open collaboration hosted by Abby from Rooted and Rest and myself. Our goal with the homeschool show and tell was to bring homeschoolers together from around the globe to really just be able to show that there's not one right way to homeschool. We all have the, our own ways, we all have what we like to do, and that every one of those different ways is okay and it works. So this month, the topic that we're all going to be sharing about is our summer learning plans. So if you're interested to see what a whole lot of homeschool families are going to be doing over the summer to keep the learning going, make sure you check out the playlist in the description box down below because we're all going to be sharing. Now, I thought that I had everything that we were going to do. But then we went to Ollie's today and I picked up one last thing. So now I have two things and I'm not sure which we're going to like better. So I'm going to show you both of them. But please know that by me showing you both, I'm not saying that we're going to do both of them in their entirety. So whichever one Emily prefers, or maybe we'll go back and forth, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to show you both because I want you to know what we have on hand. So the first main thing I picked up to make sure we were going to be reviewing third grade and ready for fourth grade was the Summer Brain Quest. Now this is the workbook from third to fourth grade, so it's meant to be used in the summer. There's a summer progress map included, and there are sticker sheets. And it covers um, all of the different main subjects science social studies english language arts math and it's colorful and it has all kinds of little fun things and it just looked like it would be the perfect way to kind of review over the summer and make sure we were ready and that there wasn't any gaps or things that we needed to go more in depth on then today we were at Ollie's and I spotted the Summer Bridge Activities book, which is again for grades three to four it's the, in the summer of. And it covers all of the subjects. It's in color and it was only $4.99. So it says 15 minutes a day to keep school skills sharp. It's reading, writing, math, science, social studies, and fitness. And there are bonus flashcards and stickers. So again, these are the two that I have. I'm not planning on making her do them both in their entirety. She will either pick which one is her favorite or we will do pieces and parts from each of them depending on what she needs more or less work with. But if you have used the Brain Quest or the Summer Bridge activities and you have a preference, I would love to know what your preference is and why. So please leave that in the comments so that I know kind of what your feelings are on them. Now the other thing that I have that we're going to use to kind of review third grade and make sure we're ready for fourth grade is a game type thing from Lakeshore. I bought this at the beginning of the year. You guys might remember it from my haul and it is the Are You Ready for Fourth Grade game show. We have used these for two years. We use the Are You Ready for Second Grade and the Are You Ready for Third Grade and it is a fantastic way to review because it's set up in like a Jeopardy type way. You actually earn the money when you answer the questions. It's just really fun. But what I really like about it is each of these cards, when she answers a question, which are all the skills that she should know, has a little letter and number on the back. There is a teacher or parent guide where you can write down all of the answers. So you can just put like a Y for yes, she got it right, or an N for no, she didn't get it right, or a red mark, or whatever you wanna do. When your child or your student is done, you go online, they provide a website, and you input the answers, and you end up with an assessment. So it will say, for instance, this is the concept that she needs work on. And I love that because I find sometimes there's something silly that we just totally overlooked that we can cover in less than 10 minutes once I know that it's something that we need to touch on. So I love that that kind of finds minor gaps. I don't necessarily really, I mean, everybody's going to have gaps, but it finds those ones that maybe I overlooked as her parent or teacher. So I really, really love that for that reason. And it's fun and play and game-based. So it just makes it a lot more fun than just the workbooks. 
So that is what we're doing for like the core, let's just make sure we don't have any summer slide stuff. But the fun thing that we're doing this summer is going to be the newly revised, updated, and expanded survival unit study. We are so, so excited because it has been two years since we've read the first six Bear Girls books. And we haven't read the last six yet. So we still have six more to read, but we're gonna go ahead and do the entire thing. We're gonna read all 12 books. We're gonna do the whole unit study. We are going to have a blast because dad is home with us now so he can join in and do a lot more of the survival stuff that maybe I wasn't personally as comfortable with doing like starting a fire and doing the shelter and she's a little bit older now so she can actually take part in more of those activities like her doing the hands-on stuff. So we are super excited. We're gonna have a survival summer. And then something else that I picked up to go with that is a few think outside boxes now these are subscription boxes but i bought three of the boxes individually um i let kevin pick which ones he wanted and we picked up one that is about backpacking so this is kind of like the first box that you get it's all about backpacking and then we also got the fire box and the shelter box. Now, I will do a unboxing on these very shortly right here on my channel, so make sure you subscribe so that you can see those. But these looked absolutely perfect, like the perfect addition to our survival summer. And I loved that they were ready to go for us. I mean, yes, I could have put it all together, but the backpacking one comes with a backpack, it comes with everything we need. It's simple, it's easy, it's ready to go, and I am more likely to actually incorporate it if we have them on hand. So that is our plans for the summer. We're gonna cover our main core review with these summer bridge books, one of the two or pieces of both. We are going to have a ton of fun playing the game show game, and we are going to dive deep into Bear Grylls and survival with the survival unit study with some think outside boxes to go with it. Now, I would love to know, do you school year round? Do you just keep on trekking with your regular curriculum during the summer? Do you take a break? Are you a little more relaxed? Do you do absolutely nothing? Let me know in the comments what your plans are for your kids for the summer.